Hey Travel Fit Tribe, it's personal trainer and functional diagnostic health coach Jen here, your expert for anything health, wellness, and fitness oriented. And this week I'm talking to you guys about the three reasons, top three reasons why juicing doesn't work. You know, I get a lot of questions about this when I meet with potential clients or even current clients that I'm working with and even friends and family because Juicing and smoothies have become such a craze. I mean, in my town where I live, there's a juice bar or a juice place that's popping up everywhere. You're seeing them in the grocery store all the time. And um, just they're marketed as being like this ultra health food that's supposed to cleanse and detox your body. There's all these three, five, or 10 day juice cleanses that are out there. And they're actually not maybe as great for you as you think that they are or you're not using them properly. I'm hanging out here with my main man, Marshall, today. You can see him over here. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about this week is the top three reasons why juicing doesn't work and how you can actually make it work for you instead. Like what are some of the missing pieces um, to juicing that you guys might need in order to make juicing more effective from a cleansing and detoxing process for you. And I actually talked more about this in detail last week um, in the webinar, the free webinar that I hosted called Facts and Myths About Cleansing, How to Boost Your Energy and Reduce Belly Bloat Without Deprivation. So if you guys missed that webinar, the link below to the replay um, for the webinar is here where you can actually listen to me talk more about juice cleansing, why it doesn't work, what to be doing instead. Um, also why diet and exercise aren't enough sometimes if you're feeling frustrated with weight as well as I touch on um, what cleansing really is. It's not about eating rabbit food and drinking lemon juice and cayenne pepper. So let's get to the point though. Let me talk to you guys about the top three reasons why juice cleansing or juicing doesn't work. So reason number one is that juice, juicing doesn't include any protein. There's no protein in the juice. And so the reason that this is maybe not so great is because um, people think that they're juicing or that they're drinking a juice in order to cleanse and detox their body. Usually that's most of the reasons why people are consuming it. Well, in order for your body to actually do the detoxification process, it needs protein. So your body at any given moment of any day is actually going through three different phases of detoxing all the time. It has these detoxing pathways that are um, involved in this, this, this intricate system. And in order for your body to move through those three different phases, particularly phase one and phase two, it needs something called amino acids, which are found in protein in order for that to happen. So if you're just juicing, juicing, for example, doing like a three, five or 10 day juice cleanse, and you're not eating any protein, your body can actually not effectively move through that detoxification process and push toxins out. So it's good for you to be pairing your juices with some type of protein, whether that's maybe some meats or eggs or um, some type of protein powder, that's where you're going to get the most benefit out of it. Now, reason number two is that not all juices are created equal. Um, this is something that you guys really want to be paying attention to. And what I mean by this is not all juices are organic and an organic juice is where you're going to get the most benefits out of it. A non-organic juice means that that juice can contain more toxins like pesticides and herbicides and insecticides from the actual fruits and vegetables that are in that juice. So think of it this way. If you were going to drink water to hydrate, you wouldn't drink dirty water, right? So why would you drink dirty juice? You want to drink the cleanest juice possible, especially if you're using that juice for the purpose of cleansing and detoxifying your system. It makes no sense to drink non-organic juice that's going to contain some of those toxins that you're trying to get out of your body in the first place. So it's always worth it if you're going to a juice place to ask if their juices are organic. If they're not, usually they'll do like an upgrade. You can pay an extra buck or two to get an upgraded organic juice, use organic fruits and vegetables. Then if you're buying them from the store, then you certainly want to look for that USDA seal of organic on there for them as well. Now, reason number three um, that juicing may not be so great for you is that there's actually a loss of nutrients that happens. So juicing, you're going to get, or juices, you're going to get the most nutrients and benefits out of them if you drink them right away. So for those of you who have a juicer at home and you're juicing at home and drinking them right away, that's great. Be careful about how long that you're storing them. For everybody else out there that's buying juice from either a juice bar or a store, you want to be checking to see how long that juice has been sitting there. 
for a cold press juice, the nutrients will stay pretty stable for about anywhere from 48 to 72 hours, so a maximum of three days, essentially. So you're thinking about it, if you're doing one of those three, five, or 10 day juice cleanses, um, you wanna be making sure that you're getting those deliveries like every couple of days and they're not giving you everything at once and then the nutrients are gone by the time you get around to drinking that. And then anything that's like a warm press juice, which you really don't find maybe that often except for the pre-bottled things that you're buying in the store, the nutrients are lost within a matter of hours. So that's something that you want to be checking too. If you're going to a juice place or you're buying juices online or getting them delivered, you want to make sure that those juices are cold pressed so that they're retaining the maximum amount of nutrients for you. And this just goes along with a lot of the misconceptions that are out there about cleansing. There's a lot of fads and trends that are happening. And so I want to be educating you guys about this. And I'm personally on a mission to share this knowledge with more people and to educate you on what cleansing really is. So if you guys are interested in learning more about this, if you actually want to learn how to cleanse your body right with foods naturally and not have to be doing juicing all the time or these crazy gimmicks or Shakeology or whatever else is out there, then I have something in store for you. I have just recently opened up the doors or enrollment for my seasonal cleanse challenge. Now I only do this a couple times a year, once in the spring and then once in the fall. So I'm doing the spring cleanse challenge right now. It's coming up on March 24th and enrollment is open right now. And today is actually March 10th is the last day for early bird enrollment where you can save $20 on your enrollment. So it's normally 89 bucks. You can get it for 69 if you sign up today on the last day. If you don't get this to this video, until later that's totally fine because enrollment is open until March 17th and you'll just get the regular price now with this cleanse challenge I'm going to be teaching you about how to minimize certain foods out of your diet that are creating toxicity I'm going to show you how to incorporate naturally detoxifying foods like beets and grapefruit and dandelion greens and lemons into your daily routine to always be supporting that cleansing process we're going to find out what nutrient makeup you need for your body for that detoxing process to be happening appropriately all of the time. I'm also going to be doing weekly educational webinars, giving you weekly workout tips. You get a bonus 45 minute Ask the Expert session with me to get my one-on-one -on -one attention and focus on you for whatever it is that you need through this cleanse challenge. And also in the cleanse challenge, for every day or every time that you participate in a cleansing activity like eating beets or being gluten-free that day, you earn points. So throughout the challenge, we're gonna be giving away weekly prizes for people that have the most points each week and then at the end of the challenge you're also going to be um, eligible to earn the finale prize which is three coaching sessions or three personal training sessions with me now there's even more bonuses included I have a virtual goodie bag that's going to give you links to discounts and special offerings and you're also going to get a, a physical goodie bag mailed to you with some samples and things to help you get started with the challenge so I provide a lot of value and a lot of content in this to help you guys do the best that you can. So again, today's the last day for Early Bird, March 10th. Um, you can still sign up for the Cleanse Challenge until March 17th, and then um, ultimately it's gonna start on March 24th. So I've also provided the link below here. You can go back to the email um, also and click on the links in there, but it's mytravelfit.com slash cleanse dash challenge is where you can find that information and come join us. I'm going to be participating too so that you can learn how to cleanse your body right and you don't get caught up in juicing too much. So I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next week.